How's it going YouTubers? This is Nick with Mobile Essentials and today I'm giving you a review on GarageBand. Probably one of my favorite apps, if not my favorite. So let's get started. There's a lot to this. It might be kind of a long video. I'm sorry. It might take up two. But there's just so much in this app and I gotta show it to you because it's so cool. So here are all my songs. You can just scroll through them like this. Um, I've had a lot of fun playing around on this. So you just tap on a slow song, load it up. You can make new songs. So here I just press instruments. You can scroll through the instruments you want to use. You can plug in a guitar. You can record your voice or any sound for that matter. You can record a sound then play it on on the on-screen music keyboard. You can record something then play around on the keyboard and change the pitch of what you recorded. Uh, smart drums, it plays something automatically for you. You just tap on what you want it to play and it will play it. Smart bass, you can either play the bass or you can make it play for you. Uh, smart keyboard, you can make it play for you again. Uh, all the smart things you can really make it play through you, for you I mean. Uh, the smart bass and smart guitar you can play and or have it play for you. The smart keyboard, it'll just play for you. There's another keyboard thing right here. So I, we'll start with the drums because they're my favorite. So uh, it loads up pretty quick. So that's all there really is to it. Uh, there's the ride there, bass drum. You can hit the bell on the ride. You can on the crash if you hit it with one finger it does the bass like how you may see it do but if you hit it with two it doesn't do the bass sometimes it misses that you're doing two fingers and it does hit hit the bass still uh, the hi-hat if you hit it on the left side it does an open hi-hat right side does closed hi-hat and right here it's doing the hi-hat pedal uh, for the snare hit it on the right side makes just a normal snare sound sound left side it does a rim shot and you hit it on the rim it does a rim uh, toms don't have any of that special stuff they're just toms uh, bass normal so everything else is normal you can tap here and you can change what kind of kit you're playing on classic studio kit vintage kit live rock kit classic drum machine house drum machine hip-hop drum machine I'll go on to Hip Hop Drum Machine just to show you what the drum machines look like. You can change some settings, resolution, lo-fi, I don't know what any of these things do. So if you're a soundboard person or whatever, maybe you can figure it out. Uh, if you want to, just put in a comment or something. Uh, so yeah, you can really customize it to what you want. You can change the volume right here. Uh, you can record. I'll show you the recording really quick. I'll just go into a drum set. Actually, let me make a quick song, a new song really quick, because that already has stuff recorded. So, I will make a new song, go on here, and I will just press record. There's a metronome. So, I can just do one thing for the whole time, for the whole eight measures that it will record, and then it will do a loop. And it'll go through again. Sorry, I'm getting off beat here. This is going to sound awful. Now for this, I'm playing along to what I just played. So it's kind of hard for me to play while talking. But So you can just do one section at a time. So, yeah. Yeah, you can just do loops like that, and it's very nice for recording stuff. I'll, and here's what I just recorded. It shows you all the tracks. You can drag the playhead right here. Uh, you can add new tracks right here. I'll go back, cancel that. Uh, this, you can add, add like voices into it, like here. I'll show you one. Yeah. 
and you can just drag them in here just like that you can tap on a track and delete it you can tap it and shorten it up or you can copy it cut it loop it split it um, you can delete and you can press here it pulls out this little menu uh, see right now it's doing the bars because I'm talking to the mic uh, you can mute it or no you can have it the only thing that's playing if you only want to hear one part part or you can mute that part if you want to listen to everything else at once right here you can add sections so you can have like a verse section chorus section verse 2 section whatever and then you can just work in those certain sections so you don't have to be dealing with the whole picture at once uh, if you want to you can zoom in you can zoom in all right you can zoom in so you can do more of a refined cut or putting in different tracks in certain areas uh, so yeah that's the that's the track area I'll go back to the instruments I will show you the keyboard uh, so here's the keyboard So, this app, they tried to make it so that it measures how hard you hit it, and they did a pretty good job, but there isn't actually a pressure sensor in the first iPad, so I'm not sure if there is in the second or not, but, uh, so they just measured the accelerometer moving when you hit it, or at least that's what I've heard. So, right here, you can change how many keys are in the field of view, uh, if you want it to be bigger so you can be more accurate you can do that uh, you can make it so it's a double key so you can have it in different octaves I'll just go like so uh, that's pretty nice if you didn't recognize that that's from the Apple iPad commercial uh, you can run an app, an arpeggiator. Sorry, I butchered that. Probably, if you're a piano player and know what that means, comment and say what that is. I have no idea. You can change what scale it's in. So it's only playing a C scale right now. Uh, you can put on sustain. So if you tap it, it'll sustain that note for a while. I'm just going to go back. Oh, whoops. I'm just going to go back to this. And it'll sustain what you play right here. Changes the octaves. Quick thing to change octaves so you don't have to scroll through it like this by tapping right here. Uh... If you're on just one keyboard, you can't do it when there's two, but I'm not sure what you can do when there's two, but you can change it like this. Uh, you can change what kind of keyboard you have. Uh, there's all these just regular keyboards, electric piano, heavy metal organ, uh, classic grand piano. So there's synth classic, synth bass, synth leads, synth pads. Uh, and sound effects, sound effects synth. My favorite synth is the vintage lead. Uh, you can play with this. You can change some settings in here, cutoff, resonance, volume release, volume attack. Uh, just scroll that like that. Uh, you can make it so that it's on glissando, which means it just goes like that, like the last piano. You can have it scroll, like the last piano, but there's also another one, pitch. You can tap on a note and drag, and it'll change the note as you drag. So, that is very fun to play with. You can entertain me for hours probably not hours but for a long time uh, so uh, yeah you can change it to the double keyboard on this too so you can like yeah 
Uh, very cool. The keyboard is excellent. Um, I will show you the base now. Sorry, this video will probably be put into two. So if it suddenly stops, check for section two of the video. Okay. So what you can do, it shows C right here, F, B, whatever. It shows what kind of chords these are. So if you tap right here, it's playing what it would be if you were playing, holding an E minor chord on a bass. A minor, D minor, G, D minor, C, F, B, B, B dim. You can change to notes. And you can just play on the fretboard. You can bend the strings. Very cool. You can't bend two strings at once, which kind of disappointed me. But sometimes it just like flips out. So, yeah. Uh, you can turn on autoplay. I'll go like that. It takes away the notes so you don't even have to worry about them. I'll, I can just press C and it'll automatically play something in the C chord. Change it to E minor, A minor, whatever. It'll keep playing that pattern. You can change what pattern it plays. There's four selections. Uh, you can change what kind of bass you're playing on. Liverpool, muted, picked, upright. There's like a cello. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. Bass is pretty fun to play around with. I'm not a very great bass player. I play bass, but not very well. Uh, so it's it's fun. And then there's guitar. So what you can do here... Did I already show you guitar? I think I did. If I didn't... You can play notes like this. You can do the same thing as bass, pretty much. Make it play automatically stuff. Fretboard. Yeah, same thing as bass, just in guitar you can change what kind of guitar you have. So, sorry if I did that already. I think that is everything besides smart drums. Smart drums. Alright, this is fun. So, what you do... You can change what kind of kit you're playing on. It has this little grid right here. Loud, quiet, complex, simple. So I will drag the snare in here. I want it complex and loud, so I put it up in the top right corner. So it's in the loud section and complex section. I'll drag the kick into the same spot. Um, I'll drag, drag the hi-hat into simple and quiet. You can move them around as you're going. Put claps in there symbols over here shaker you can press a dice button right there and it'll switch it up for you so yeah pretty very cool actually you can reset it not sure what oh you can just press power and it turns it off so I'll drag everything in here that I want, turn off the power, and then I can just turn it back on and it'll start playing. Turn it off. So, reset. And you can record up here. Press record. Drag stuff in. 